expand 5x minus 3 the whole cube. Okay, so let us expand this um, by putting them in three brackets. So 5x minus 3 the whole cube can be written as 5x minus 3 times 5x minus 3 times 5x minus 3. The process is very lengthy, uh, but we'll, I'll show you one way in which you can check your answer. And uh, what is important is at the end of the day, you should know whether your answer expansion is right or wrong. Because what happens is in exam, when you expand this, you end up doing silly mistakes, but you don't know whether your expansion is right or wrong. So let us expand these two brackets. So 5x times 5x is 25x squared. Okay, so 5x times 5x times minus 3 is, so let me write that. This is minus 15x. And minus 3 times 5x is, again, minus 15x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. Okay, so this is 5x minus 3. We need to do one more step before we move on. So we need to simplify this too before we expand further. So this is 25x squared minus 30x plus 9 times 5x minus 3. So the next step, you can foil this out, but I have seen students making lot of, lots of mistakes in the next step. So I will write the next step like this. This is 25x squared times this whole bracket, which is 5x minus 3. Then the next term is minus 30x times, again, the same bracket, which is 5x minus 3, plus 9 times 5x minus 3. Okay, you need to be patient, so let's expand this. So 25 times, first multiply the numbers, 25 times 5 is 125, then x times, x squared times x is x cubed. 25 plus times minus is minus. First multiply the signs, then multiply the numbers. So this is 125. You got only x squared here. Negative times positive is negative. This is 150. Then x times x is x squared. Negative times negative is positive. 30 times 3 is 90x plus this is 45x minus 27. Okay, now we need to uh, simplify this and also this. So this gives you, this is 125x squared, x cubed, sorry, 125x cubed. This is 275x squared, 275 x squared, uh, 90 plus 40 is 135, so it's 135x minus 27. Okay, so this is your answer, which is the expansion of 5x minus 3, the whole cube. So let us check this on the calculator. This is, go to your table menu, and in Y1, I'm going to type in the questions like this. 5x minus 3 cube. Use this caret key. And in Y2, I'm typing in the answer, which is 125x cube. Okay, minus 275. So it's 125x cube minus 275x squared plus 135x minus 27. Go to set. I'm going from 1 to 5, step of 1. That's fine. Execute and find the table. Okay, so there's some mistake here. Okay, let me uh, have it entered the values properly. Yeah, it is 5x minus 3, the whole cube. That's fine. This is 125x cubed minus 275x squared. So we have to find our mistake. We have done some mistakes somewhere. 
Okay, so what is this? This is 25x squared minus 15x minus 15x uh, plus 9. This is right. Okay, so what's happened here? Uh, minus 30x. Okay, so let's see. This is 25 times 5 is 125x cubed. Oh, this is wrong. 25 times 3 is 75. Okay. It's a good exercise. So this is where I'm saying that we all can do mistakes. So this is minus 75x squared. Okay, so this should this will become 225. This is 225. So this is so this is a good way for me to show you how you can check your answer. This should be 225x squared. Okay, so this is good. So I'll change this to scroll this to 225. So I'll delete 7 and see what happens. See, can you see? All the values are exact. It should be the same values. And so we can be proud and be happy and uh, we can give ourselves a big tick.